Hi, Colonel. Raiden, are you receiving? We're still here. How's that possible? The AI was destroyed. Only GW. Who are you? To begin with, we're not what you'd call human. Over the past 200 years, a kind of consciousness formed layer by layer in the crucible of the White House. It's not unlike the way life started in the oceans four billion years ago. The White House was our primordial soup, a base of evolution. We are formless. We are the very discipline and morality that Americans invoke so often. How can anyone hope to eliminate us? As long as this nation exists, so will we. Cut the crap! If you're immortal, why would you take away individual freedoms and censor the net? <laughs> Jack, don't be silly. Don't you know that our plans have your interests, not ours, in mind? What? Jack, listen carefully, like a good boy. The mapping of the human genome was completed early this century. As a result, the evolutionary log of the human race lay open to us. We started with genetic engineering, and in the end, we succeeded in digitizing life itself. But there are things not covered by genetic information. What do you mean? Human memories, ideas, culture, history. Genes don't contain any record of human history. Is it something that should not be passed on? Should that information be left at the mercy of nature? We've always kept records of our lives, through words, pictures, symbols, from tablets to books. But not all the information was inherited by later generations. A small percentage of the whole was selected and processed, then passed on. Not unlike genes, really. That's what history is, Jack. But in the current digitized world, trivial information is accumulating every second, preserved in all its triteness, never fading always accessible rumors about petty issues misinterpretation slander all this junk data preserved in an unfiltered state growing at an alarming rate it will only slow down social progress reduce the rate of evolution right you seem to think that our plan is one of censorship are you telling me it's not you're being silly what we propose to do is not to control content but to create context Create context. The digital society furthers human flaws and selectively rewards development of convenient half-truths. Just look at the strange juxtapositions of morality around you. Billions spent on new weapons in order to humanely murder other humans. Rights of criminals are given more respect than the privacy of their victims. Although there are people suffering in poverty, huge donations are made to protect endangered species. Everyone grows up being told the same thing. Be nice to other people. But beat out the competition. You're special. Believe in yourself and you will succeed. But it's obvious from the start that only a few can succeed. You exercise your right to freedom, and this is the result. All rhetoric to avoid conflict and protect each other from hurt. The untested truths, spun by different interests, continue to churn and accumulate in the sandbox of political correctness and value systems. Everyone withdraws into their own small gated community, afraid of a larger forum. They stay inside their little ponds, leaking whatever truth suits them into the growing cesspool of society at large. The different cardinal truths neither clash nor mesh. No one is invalidated, but nobody is right. Not even natural selection can take place here. The world is being engulfed in truth. And this is the way the world ends. Not with a bang, but a whimper. We're trying to stop that from happening. It's our responsibility as rulers. Just as in genetics, unnecessary information and memory must be filtered out to stimulate the evolution of the species. And you think you're qualified to decide what's necessary and not? Absolutely. Who else could wade through the sea of garbage you people produce, retrieve valuable truths, and even interpret their meaning for later generations? That's what it means to create context. I'll decide for myself what to believe and what to pass on. But is that even your own idea? Or something Snake told you? <sighs> That's the proof of your incompetence right there. 
You lack the qualifications to exercise free will. That's not true. I have the right. Does something like a self exist inside of you? That which you call self serves as nothing more than a mask to cover your own being. In this era of ready-made truths, self is just something used to preserve those positive emotions that you occasionally feel. Another possibility is that self is a concept you conveniently borrowed under the logic that would endow you with some sense of strength. That's crap! Is it? Would you prefer that someone else tell you? All right, then. Explain it to him. Jack, you're simply the best, and you got there all by yourself. Oh, what happened? Do you feel lost? Why not try a bit of soul-searching? Don't think you'll find anything, though. Ironic that although self is something that you yourself fashion, every time something goes wrong, you turn around and place the blame on something else. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. In denial, you simply resort to looking for another, more convenient truth in order to make yourself feel better. Leaving behind in an instant the so-called truth you once embraced. Would someone like that be able to decide what is truth? Should someone like you even have the right to decide? You've done nothing but abuse your freedom. You don't deserve to be free. We're not the ones smothering the world. You are. The individual is supposed to be weak, but far from powerless. A single person has the potential to ruin the world. And the age of digitized communication has given even more power to the individual. Too much power for an immature species. Building a legacy involves figuring out what is wanted and what needs to be done for that goal. All this you used to struggle with. Now, we think for you. We are your guardians, after all. You want to control human thought? Human behavior? Of course. Anything can be quantified nowadays. That's what this exercise was designed to prove. You fell in love with me just as you were meant to, after all. Isn't that right, Jack? Ocelot was not told the whole truth, to say the least. We rule an entire nation. Of what interest would a single soldier, no matter how able, be to us? The S3 plan does not stand for solid snake simulation. What it does stand for is selection for societal sanity. Schon ein bisschen gruselig, was sie so labern. S3 is a system for controlling human will and consciousness. S3 is not you, a soldier trained in the image of Solid Snake. It is a method, a protocol that created a circumstance that made you what you are. So you see, we're the S3, not you. What you experienced was the final test of its effectiveness. That's crazy. You heard what President Johnson said. The Arsenal's GW system is the key to their supremacy. The objective of this exercise was to establish such a method. We used Shadow Moses as a paradigm for the exercise. I wonder if you would have preferred a fantasy setting. Rohrzucht. <laughs> we chose that backdrop because of its extreme circumstances. It was an optimal test for S3's crisis management capacity. If the model could trigger, control, and solve this, it would be ready for any contingency. And now, we have our proof. Mein Controller ist wegen dieses Hedros, weil es viermal ausgegangen. There are also reasons behind your selection. Solidus raised plenty of other child soldiers. Do you know why we chose you over them? Hmm. It was because you were the only one who refused to acknowledge the past. All the others remember what they were and pay for it daily. But you turn your back on everything you don't like. You do whatever you like, see only the things you like, and for yourself alone. Yes. Rose can attest to that. You refused to see me for what I was. I lied to you, but I wanted to be caught. 
You pretended to be understanding, to be a gentleman. You never made a conscious attempt to reach out to me. The only time you did was when I gave you no choice but to do so. I was just trying not to. What? Trying not to hurt me? Dear, the one you were trying not to hurt was yourself. Avoiding the truth under the guise of kindness is all that you did. It occurred to you to do nothing but look out for yourself. Even if you claim that it was for my sake, that feeling was nowhere to be seen. In the end, everything was for your sake. I was never part of the picture. <laughs> exactly right. So you see, you're a perfect representative of the masses we need to protect. This is why we chose you. You accepted the fiction we've provided, obeyed our orders, and did everything you were told to. The exercise is a resounding success. Didn't I tell you that GW is still incomplete? But not anymore, thanks to you. Your persona, experiences, triumphs, and defeats are nothing but byproducts. The real objective was ensuring that we could generate and manipulate them. It's taken a lot of time and money, but it was well worth it considering the results. I think that's enough talk. It's time for the final exercise. Raiden, take Solidus down. Think again. I'm through doing what I'm told. Oh, really? Aren't you forgetting something? If you die, my child dies. The termination of vital signals from your nanomachines means the death of Olga's child. Not to mention the death of Rose. She's wired the same way. Rose, does she actually exist? Of course I do, Jack. You have to believe me. Damn! It will be a fight to the death. Solidus at least wants you dead. We will collect the necessary data from this last fight. Then we'll consider the exercise closed. So, Jack the Ripper, will it be Solidus, the Patriot's creation, or you, Solidus's creation? Our beloved monsters, enjoy yourselves. So, Leute, das war so ein Informationsüberschwall, dass ich Jack, my son. einfach gar nichts dazu sage. Lasst es einfach auf euch wirken. Und wir hauen Solidus aufs Maul. You are one of a kind, but still a monster, shaped by a dark and secret history. We need to decide which monstrosity will have the privilege of survival. By the way, Jack, I was the one who killed your parents. Ich bin übrigens auch noch da, Leute. Hi, euer Streamer. Ich habe dich für meine eigene und dich als Soldier in der Armee des Devils gebracht. Ich bin dein Vater Vater und dein schlimmster Feind. Warum? Weil ich wissen wollte, ob wir wirklich jemand anderes Kreation waren. Wir wiederholen die Geschichte, Jack. Liquid und Solid haben den Big Boss verletzt, um die Tide zu verletzen, die sie zu ihm verletzen haben. Wenn du mich töten und deinen Vergangenheit verletzt, Jack, wirst du nie verletzen. Du wirst in der endlosen Lüge bleiben. You will never escape. You'll stay in the endless loop. Your own double helix. It's time we were both free. I have other reasons for wanting you dead. The clues to the Patriots inside GW have been erased, but there are other traces. Inside you. What? The information is being carried by the nanomachines in your cerebral cortex and throughout the neural network they formed. Hey, also Leute, wie gesagt, ich werde einfach gar nichts dazu sagen. Uh, 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 uh. Und ich werde auch, werd auch drauf scheißen, den Typen jetzt zu betäuben oder so. Ich werde ihn einfach aufschlitzen. Also wenn ich, wenn ich, wenn ich schaffe. 
jetzt gerade nicht danach aussieht. Alter. Sagt mir Colonel jetzt eigentlich actually noch irgendwas zu dem Kampf? Okay. Habe ich eigentlich noch meine anderen Waffen? Oh, nee, tatsächlich nicht. Oh, ich kann ihn noch betäuben, sehe ich gerade, indem ich ihn einfach aufs Maul... Sehe ich doch aufs Maul boxe. Hä? Boah, einfach weggeschlitzt, ey. Woo! Erschießen mit dem Schwert? Ja. Im übertragenen Sinne. Ups. Dass er immer posen muss, ne? Ryan, nachdem er mit dem Schwert angegriffen hat. Ich weiß, ein Schwert ist total cool und so. Aber Ryan, halt 30 bitte etwas zusammen. Wäre sehr nice. Alright, let's go. Oh oh. Aua. Zweites die Ausdauer, richtig. Oh, ich brenne. I'm burning. Oh, nice. Das war eins guter Treffer. Oh. Uh. Und weg mit mir. Oh, er ist schon... Kriegt schon ein paar Funken um sich rum. Seht ihr das? Er macht gar nicht so viel Schaden eigentlich, der Dude, oder? Oder die Generation. Da liegen zwei Rationen sogar noch. Ja, damit. Oh, was? Ich treffe nicht. Ein richtiges gerade, ey. Nichts. Äh, was? Ich schon sagen, hier, ey. <lacht> Komm, ich nehme noch die andere Ration mit, die da in der Ecke liegt. Ey, er will auch hin. Ach, lag da nicht gerade noch eine? Ich hab verguckt, das scheint. Uh, uh, und weg mit ihm. Ja, ein bisschen... Ein bisschen zu einfach bisher, ne? Aber natürlich hat er noch ein paar... Ja. Als ob das so bleibt, Leute. Ich bitte euch. <lacht> Wer ruft jetzt an? Wer stört? Und ich bin dabei. Ach komm, das muss jetzt aber nicht sein, oder? It was Jack. Both of you are just weapons to be used and thrown away. Just weapons to be used on the battlefield. Just pawns in a game. Exactly as you said. And a weapon has no right to think for itself. Now, it's time to fulfill your purpose. Defeat Solidus. Dankeschön. Lass mich einfach kämpfen. What the fuck? Konnte ich da nicht treffen? Ich 
Weg mit dem Dude, Alter. Wie er richtig stylisch aussteht, ey. Aua. So, hab ich Blute. Ja, ich blute. Das ist immer Zeichen zum Angreifen, wenn er den Move macht. Oh, wow. Ich habe ihn irgendwie weggetreten. Ja, was? Steh auf, Ryan! Oh Gott, ich lag am Boden. Ich wusste es nicht. <lacht> oh, schön aufgetroffen. Ähm. Was? Nein! Nein, 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 nein! Ich wusste actually nicht, dass das passieren kann. Ich wusste nicht, dass das passieren kann. Das ist mir das habe ich noch nie gesehen. Ich wusste halt auch nicht mehr, welche Taste ich zum Hochziehen benutzen muss. Oh Mann. Das ärgert mich gerade sehr. Das habe ich noch nie gesehen, dass das passiert. Das war antiklimatisch. Naja. <lacht> Zieht mir einfach die Beine weg, weißt du? So los. Na, komm her. Yikes. Sehr gut. Einfach einmal gepikst. Ich hasse den Mufa, den weiche ich nie aus. Okay, Katzin. Oh, ich kann nicht überspringen. Yikes. Du hast so Metal Gear Solid 4 spielen? Oh ja, natürlich. Auf jeden Fall. Metal Gear Solid 3 und 4 sind meine Lieblingsteile. Stell dich bei 4 und schon mal auf ein, dass wir da wirklich, dass wir noch wesentlich länger... <lacht> naja, teilweise sitzen werden und gucken, was passiert. Denn, ähm... Das Spiel hat sehr viel Cutscenes. Mehr als, auch, also wesentlich mehr als die, das hier. Aber ich finde es nicht schlimm, also... So ist ja nicht. Du kannst das Schwert auf nicht tödlich stellen? Was? Wie das denn? Ja, die Solle 5 höchstwahrscheinlich nicht, nee. Das ist mir doch ein bisschen, doch, bist doch ein bisschen zu lang, das Game. Damn. Er hat einfach nicht geschlagen gerade. Ja, yeah, let's go. Was? Ah, ich habe auch. Ich, nein, er wäre tot gewesen. Ich wollte es so ausprobieren, was Tellin gesagt Jetzt habe ich ihn aus auf nicht killen gestellt. <lacht> Egal, aber jetzt ist er tot. Komm, 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 komm. Nein! Der letzte hat nicht getroffen. 